No real optimism in this forecast unless you like the cold. Really cold. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> and we're talking about the really cold here on Earth, but you know I'm a space nerd, and I just stumbled across something. Let's go to the other computer, the backup computer, the um, the weather computer okay. uh, this morning, because in about eight minutes, this is from NASA TV, the SpaceX is going to launch their, near, their newest Dragon capsule to take more supplies to the International Space Station. So, being the space nerd that I am, of course I had to show you that this morning. So that's going on in less than eight minutes. And last time I checked, just moments ago, the weather made it a 90% go for launch. Hopefully we'll keep track of that. I think we'll be in sports by the time it actually launches, but I'll put up a link on uh, Facebook and Twitter that you can follow along as well. Let's go over now to our live pinpoint Doppler radar. Not too much going on, but a little bit of action down into parts of Pike County. You see around Phelps, maybe a few snowflakes flying this morning over to parts of Mingo County, far southern Mingo County. County and down into parts of Dickinson and Buchanan counties. Temperatures running in the 20s and close to the 30 degree mark this morning. The spots that are a little warmer might be seeing a little bit more cloud cover, so that's why they may be just a touch warmer this morning. Bus stop forecast between 25 and about 28 or 29 for the most part. Chilly start, sunny clouds, wind chills are going to be in effect today or be a factor for today, let's put it that way. And 38 is your daytime high, so it's not going to feel like 38 even though it's going to be one of our warmer times in the next several days. Cloud cover, you see it already diminished a little bit in the northern counties and the eastern counties, but I think it came back up in the Cumberland Valley parts of the Kentucky River. And snow trying to make a dive at Ashland. We're seeing a lot of snow off to our north. This whole system is trucking off to the south and east, but we might get a little bit of uh, clipped. It's one of those northern and eastern counties today, but I think our better chance for some of that moisture comes overnight tonight and tomorrow. Let's go into future view, kind of see what's going on there by this afternoon, trying to keep us in the low 30s for a day. Time high, so I think we'll get a little bit warmer than that tonight, though. As we drop into the 20s, that's going to be your highs, and I use that as a, this, one of these terms your highs for tomorrow because we're going to continue to drop those temperatures into the afternoon hours. Watch the snowflakes, maybe flying a little bit tomorrow. Now, this is not going to be a big snow by any means, we're going to keep an eye on the higher elevations. But you see, by 4 45 tomorrow afternoon, right as we get ready for those mountain classic ball games, it's going to be a situation where it gets really cold really fast. So bundle up and be ready tomorrow night to keep the jackets handy again because we're going to drop into the single digits by early Thursday morning. It's going to be a cold forecast overall. Forecast for today, 38. Again, wind chill west out of the five, at 5 to 10. It's going to feel 30s, 20s. Flurries possible this morning and this afternoon possibly, but I think once we get past the freezing mark, we'll start to see those die out. 20 tonight, mostly cloudy, isolated snow showers. I don't think we're going to see anything in the way of accumulation, but again, we'll watch it tomorrow, same thing. But watch that, 20 to 20, down to 4, only back to 21 on Thursday, still frigid. Remember, the three Ps, people, pets, and pipes. Try to get, bring your pets inside if you can. If you can't, make them as warm as possible. Try to get everything you can in there to keep them warm. Check on your neighbors. Check on the elderly, especially that are more susceptible to the cold. And don't forget your pipes. Try to fix those up as much as you can. Third check of the refrigerator this morning. Sit behind for you there behind the magnets on refrigerator art. Nice little picture there from the Destiny over at Chavez Elementary School. We appreciate that. Appreciate all the nice pictures you get to showcase here on the morning news. So again, uh, very, very cold the next several days. Mm -hmm. So keep it right here. We're going to keep an eye on those snow chances. I do think it's going to be higher elevation for the most part, but we'll, we'll watch it regardless. All right. All right. Let's head to Facebook for our fan of the day. All right. This morning's fan, handpick fan is Kimberly Hill from Wheelwright. Congratulations, Kimberly. That's right. And you can register to become our Facebook fan by visiting the WYMT Facebook page, clicking on the fan of the day link at the top. You can also find more information there on some of the perks of signing up. The time, 616. You're watching Mountain News this morning.